Hello, welcome to the Projector Sewing channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to invert colors in Adobe Acrobat. This can apply to any PDF file, but since we focus on projector sewing here, I'm going to be using a sewing pattern to show you. Come on, let's get started. First, open your pattern in Adobe Acrobat. I've already got two patterns open to demonstrate this for you. I will first show you how to access inverting colors from the menu, but stick around because I'm going to show you a quick shortcut too. All right, if your screen doesn't look exactly like mine, I've just closed this all tools button here just by clicking the X up at the top. And we're gonna come up to this hamburger menu here, click on that. And we're going to go down to preferences. And once you have preferences open, we're going to come down to where it says accessibility. When you click on accessibility, you're going to go ahead and click replace document colors. Now my default has been changed. Usually the default is black and like this uh, lime green, this bright green. Once you have your replace a document colors selected, you can choose any of these. You can use the basic high contrast colors such as green text on black, which is our default here, yellow text on black, white text on black, or black text on white. You can also set custom colors here by choosing a black background, any color you want, and a text color, any color you want. I'm going to go ahead and just stick with those defaults just for a second to show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and click use the high contrast colors. You can also try some of these things on where it says only change the color of black text and line art. You can also click change the color of line art as well as text. I find clicking this kind of helps with patterns but play along around with those and see what works best for you. Once you have your settings how you like it, go ahead and press OK. And you can see it has gone ahead and inverted my colors to those default color inversions. Now this works really well if a pattern has all black lines. However, if you have a pattern that has different colors, it might look a little bit different. So let me show you this pattern here. I went ahead and inverted it. So again, I just went to preferences, menu preferences, and I inverted it using the green text on black and pressed OK. But you can see that some of the lines that were not black, so some of these pattern lines, let's go ahead and turn off some of these layers so you can kind of see. For example, my size six here was already a red line, okay? It did not change that color. So if you are wanting something that looks like this, where all the colors are changed, you will need to change your entire pattern lines to black. One quick and simple way to do that is using PDF Stitcher, which I do have a tutorial on as well if you would like to change it so all your pattern lines are black if they don't come like that. But again, even just inverting the colors, the background to black might help your pattern lines to be a little bit more visible. Now I did say I was going to go ahead and go over the shortcut that we'll use for this. And on a Windows, it is just Control K. On a Mac, that's Command K. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. And it brings us right open to the preference menu. Just make sure you're on accessibility. And then you can either use the default high contrast colors, or sometimes it's kind of fun just to play around with this and you can really do any color that you want. So let me show you how that looks. Whoa, that's kind of playing tricks on my eyes. I don't like that. Let's push control K again. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep that black and maybe I want to make the lines white and I'll go ahead and press okay. Wow, that looks really great. If I was cutting on a dark fabric, it might be really helpful to go ahead and have those lines white instead of black on a black fabric. This would make it a lot easier to see as you're cutting out your sewing pattern. 
Again, you might want to change it based on what you're cutting out and finding something that really works well for you and for what you're cutting out. Feel free to play around with it. Um, let me show you kind of what that yellow looks like as well. Okay, so it kind of brightens it up. Feel free to play around with this and find something that works best for the fabric that you are using. Again, if you come to it and your pattern looks something like this one, where all the pattern lines are still just the different colors, it only changes the black pattern lines. So if you want it to look more like this demonstration example, you would need to change all those colors to black pattern lines. And a quick and simple way to do that is PDF Stitcher, but you can also do this in programs such as Affinity Designer and Inkscape. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to invert your colors in Adobe Acrobat Reader. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please give me a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.